I think I figured it out on my own. I mean, the other thing that I didn't tell you was to book in the day before I say my prayers at night to go through the day, which I don't know about you, but it can be hard to remember what you had for breakfast <laughs> after dinner when you're going to bed. It can be hard to remember what those first things we did in the day. So I'll go back through my day when I'm happiest. I, I go back through my day and I like to write a mental note of what is tomorrow. What are my plans for tomorrow? Um, that's a big stress reliever for, for me. Um, I, I think I learned it on my own. I've always been a list keeper. I love making long lists of things to do during the day. And I add everything. I add the, the simple things that you know you're going to do anyway in, in the list. You know, like uh, kick, kiss your wife. You know what I mean? Uh, um, drop a deuce, whatever it is. I, I write things that I'm going to do just so it's more to mark off the list. You write, um, among, you write down you have to take a shit? Like, <laughs> really? Just remember <laughs> You know, enjoy enjoy that, or read something, read something funny, or, or or have a listen to that favorite tune of yours. Something that I know because the longer the list, the more things I can mark off for that day. The more I feel like I accomplished, and the more it makes it kind of easy to do the hard stuff. You know, I yeah, I, I do that with some things that I have to do, like exercise and writing. I, I do that with some things, but it seems like you're very meticulous with this. Yeah, I go through hot streaks and cold streaks on it. You know, I do it more times than others, but I've found that those are the common denominators, some of the things I do when I am the most happy. I'm not a big meditator, but my exercise, what I call breaking a sweat once a day, exercising, I find for me that is necessary because it puts a, a demarcation between all of my responsibilities. Mm. And I could sometimes look up, you know how it is, if sometimes you go through the day or days and you're so busy, and I'm, I'm good on autopilot at getting stuff done, but everything you have to do stress comes when those responsibilities feel like they're stacked vertically on our shoulders mm. and there's a proverbial weight on our shoulders when i go break a sweat all of a sudden all those things that were stacked vertically on my shoulders my responsibilities lay down and they're laterally out in front of me so there's no more weight on my shoulder and i find that i get those things done better and with more enjoyment if I just go, oh, there they are in front of you. Just handle one, then hop to the next one and handle that. Then hop to the next one and handle that. I handle it much more better. But I need those. I see demarcations between my responsibilities if I go break a sweat. Yeah, I, I couldn't I agree more with that. I think there's there's a biological need for that when human beings are under pressure. Because I think the way our bodies are set up, pressure historically, genetically meant your life was in danger. And you had to exert energy and your body stored up this energy. You, you had adrenaline rushes. You had anxiety. You had all these different physical needs that you had to take care of. And if you don't exert energy, those physical needs are not met and your body's confused. It stores up a lot of this and you just you get anxious. You yell at red lights and people just freak out. Uh, generally, yep. the, your, your tolerance for bullshit is way lower. But yep. if you can just get that physical need taken care of you're way better at handling life way better way better yeah i couldn't tell people that enough I, i'm a broken record with it i say it too much and uh, i i love hearing people like yourself successful people that have thought about a lot of the various aspects of what's good and bad about their life express that because i, I think more, everyone needs to hear it it's just we need to hear it from enough people so that it just get, becomes ingrained in everyone's head every day. Brush your teeth every day. Break a sweat. Just just go do it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's it's good for <laughs> so many things. Yeah. Um, so, you know, people talk about, oh, you know, no stress. I'm like, well, bullshit. Yeah. That's stress is part of life. It means you give a damn. You know what I mean? You, you're going to have stress. You're supposed to have stress. But I know I handle things better and more thoroughly and more like myself, like I want to, um, the outcome is always better. And I enjoy doing it more if I do go break that sweat and get those endorphins going. And that presses reset for me and shows me a little, it separates all the events, like I said, laterally, and they don't feel like they're stacked up on top of me. Yeah. Also I, sleep, sleep for me. How much do you get a night? Nine and a half. Woo. I love it. That's great. I wish I could do that. God damn. When I get a nine and a half out an hour night, oh my god, I feel so good the next day. I feel amazing. I feel like a, a newer person. Well, my, my I'm, I'm lucky I have a wife that says no, no, no. 
You get your nine and a half. I'll get my seven because I'd rather handle the stuff I handle that you don't while you're sleeping than be around you when you hadn't had enough sleep. Uh, well, you set it up right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't stress that enough, too. Sleep is, is everything. Sleep, exercise, health, keep the body functioning correctly, all those things. They, they, they're not just – it's it's not a vanity thing and it's not a, a laziness thing. It's literally like the, it improves the quality of the way the mind functions and you get better things done. Your The quality of your work will be better. Definitely. Think more clearly. You don't waste your time chasing down bullshit. You don't – you know, you do the right kind of work, you know. We all know that. I, I love hard work, but I've got many times in my life where I'm doing the wrong kind of work. I love the kind of work where I've accomplished what I needed to do during the day and I lay my head on the pillow and I'm exhausted because I got done what I needed to get done as best I could. I do not like the exhaustion at the end of the day where I'm like, man, I feel like I was just going to revolutions, man. I don't know if, if today had any ascension to it. I didn't build anything. And today was a, ugh, I, don't, I don't know if I, maybe I went backwards, you know? I don't like that kind of exhaustion. Um, and that's the kind of exhaustion that actually, I don't go to sleep well. I actually keeps me up, 